Warren's vision, no problem. February 2011. I was called by the family of Warren as he was not doing very well at all. He could not breathe and was struggling to live. He told me he felt like he was drowning. I called for assisted healing help and Donna arrived too. We did a treatment on him that seemed to help a lot. During the energy treatment, he heard birds flying that seemed to come through the house. A window was cracked after that. I then gave him some colloidal silver, as Warren calls it, silver water, and two organ accumulator blankets. Warren was in and out of hospital constantly, it seemed. It was good to see the loving care he got at home from his daughter-in-law and son. They both worked very hard non-stop. Ambulance calls and taxis to the doctors were a regular part of life. My phone rang constantly for help and distance healings, night and day. Many times he thought he would not make it home again. The family was called in a few times too, by the doctors who claimed he would not make it. A priest even came to him in hospital to give him his last rites. He did actually die but was revived. Word got around that Warren had died for real. I then went to the hospital many times to give him treatments there and kept the prayers coming. I was called to the hospital that one last time as Warren was revived. He told me he had a vision in his near-death encounter. As I held his hand in the hospital, Warren asked me, Sue, is it my time? Am I going to die? I then said, no, Warren, it's not your time. I see you with an art gallery. You have many wonderful years coming. A nurse in the room came to my side and whispered to me, you should not tell him that he's not going to make it. She then hastily left the room. I told him, Warren, you are going to be painting again soon but he said he felt his painting days were over. At one point, Warren had to write on his Facebook wall, thanks for the condolences, but I am alive and well and okay, as people were leaving comments like, RIP Warren. We laughed at the time. The rumors even reached his local bank where he had to reopen up his account. He later told me more of his vision of the pearly gates with brother-in-law Pat Jacobs, who had his guitar with him. Warren then saw his mom and dad in the vision and he was now walking. He was no longer in his wheelchair, he noticed a faint light coming down a hill and getting brighter. He saw many friends there that were deceased. In the vision, he then looked for a bank machine and for some reason was looking for a restaurant. He told me he felt so happy and reassured. He also seen Johnny Cash on a huge stage where he saw all the old famous deceased singers now singing together. All the singers looked so young. As soon as Warren and Pat came through the door, an announcer on the stage called them by saying, here are Pat Jacobs and Warren Taylor from Warren's Wired Woodshed. Then Warren heard the gates starting to close, so he ran and just got out in time. He jumped into the sky and saw a huge eagle by the gates that dropped five feathers to the ground. There was a message on each feather, the words, no problem. He then awoke, his life seemed changed. Warren soon was back home and many happily came to see him. He has recently opened up his own art gallery. His paintings are truly amazing. Then. A few years later, he urgently called me again as his toe had turned almost black and blue. He was very worried as they wanted to amputate it. Nothing the doctor used was working. He was scheduled for removal of the toe but insisted on the silver water instead. So I left him a few bottles and was happy to receive a call from an excited nurse. Warren had asked her to put the silver water on his blackened toe. She was amazed as before her eyes, the skin was turning back to pink and healing. Warren was so happy as he got to keep his toe. He also had a sore on his lower back for over 10 years that would not heal. So he asked the nurse to put the silver water on his back instead of the prescribed cream, which did nothing. Again, the nurse called and now wanted some silver water for herself. The wound that would not heal for 10 years was now healing up. As we grew even closer over the years, Warren had heard of my UFO encounters and other unexplained things. Warren then wanted to share with me his story that he and a friend, Johnny S., had seen a UFO sitting on the lake in Curve Lake. It was lit up and they heard a kind of talking coming from it. It had a glowing golden light all over the huge ship and seemed to be sucking up water from the lake before taking off at an incredible speed into the sky. Neither of them wanted to say anything for fear of people thinking they were crazy. I love to hear him recount this story many times. He wanted it to be shared. Warren is doing very well today. He looks and feels better than ever. His paintings are vibrant and in demand. Friend and artist, Freddie Taylor, did a wonderful painting of The Vision for Warren, which is hung proudly at his beautiful home. Amazing journey, Warren. No problem. Just as those eagle feathers stated. Thanks for your interest. To be continued. Like and subscribe. More to come.